Hey Tanker Seattle Forge here, and we are featuring Rogue FC, who has the misfortune of being in a platoon with me in my T-37 on absolute tilt. So Rogue's the uh, latest member of the clan and uh, a really, really good World of Tanks player, especially considering the uh, small number of games he's actually played. He's really doing well, so he probably doesn't belong in our clan, but you know, we're glad to have him. Uh, so he's rolling around in the 12T, which is the Tier 6 French light tank with the autoloader. And it's a Tier 9 game, and we're looking at a 50% chance to win, which is probably the best odds we had all night. So he's pretty brave with this 12T, as the 12T does not have any gun depression or much elevation to speak of. Uh, it's only got 30 rounds in the tank. 30. That's an auto loader with a six round clip. And I think uh, he goes with a smart choice here, which is to load all premium. Oh, and the T54 lightweight comes out of nowhere and pops one at his backside, but hits the dirt. And bravely, he goes up to the top of the hill. T37 on their team coming in. And he lands two out of his clip in there, and now he's backing off, which is smart. They're both just sort of keeping each other spot along that ridge, peeking and poking, maybe hoping for a cheeky shot. And I come in full tilt, but this video isn't about me, and I don't do really well. As a matter of fact, I get in uh, Rogue's way quite a bit. And Rogue pops one into the T-37, and now he's got, oh, a wicked bounce off the T-54 lightweight. That uh, Tier 8 light tank has pretty great armor for a light tank. Now, I go wandering off thinking I have more help than I do, which was a really poor judgment call on my part. But Rogue is smart. He pulls back behind the ridge to reload his clip. And at just under 20 seconds, that is pretty manageable. You can see the 12T isn't really a speedster, though, as light tanks go. It can get up to a pretty decent speed, but getting there with its weedy 250 horsepower engine which, by the way, is the same power that you can get in a Ford Escape with a four-cylinder turbo. Just, just for a reference. So I played dumb, and I get wiped out. Oh, and now we get the SU-100 M1 spotted, and Rogue is really dialing in, trying to take on this T-54 lightweight and help out the T-49 on our team. T-49 is running for his life. Pop! You can see the huge difference in hit points between a tier 8 light tank and the tier 6 light tank. Bounces one off the T-54 lightweight strong turret, takes a shot in return, and at this point, I think that Rogue has him. And Rogue's going, no, 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 I don't! But it's two that he's put in, and he puts in the finishing shot through the front, which kind of surprised me it went in, but that's fantastic. And the T-54 lightweight, really strong tank on their team, is taken out. The score is now 6-7. to seven. Our boys over there on the west are not doing as well as the kids over here on the east. And Rogue manages his reload quite well. And gathers and tries to stay behind bushes and get some cheeky spots in. And when the SU-100M1 comes out from behind the house, Rogue gets a couple of shots, putting him away getting the kill. And he goes for the reload before stepping back out again. Take a little breather. IS-6 on their team still in the cap. Tiger 2 out in the middle of the field could present some opportunities. The western flank for our team, the VK-4502B, is about to be completely overrun. Enemy team has four heavy tanks and a tank destroyer. Our side, two heavy tanks, one about to go away. A medium, a tank destroyer, and of course, the 12T. And Rogue's making his way towards the cap. 
hopefully to farm. He thinks that, that you know the game, and I did too. That, that you know the game was going to be a loss at this point, and he decides to farm the IS6 if he can. But that IS6's barrel is moving. Is it a bot? Now the IS6 is one tough tank, uh, and mostly because of steep angles, and of course APCR doesn't do so great with slopes. Fantastic penetration, but doesn't have the uh, angle correction that AP does. And Rogue is reloading. And I can see the IS-6 is trying to trade. Tiger-2 is coming back to this end of the map. Alright. And the IS-6 is set on fire, and Rogue is able to get in the last shot before the IS-6 goes up in smoke. Now you see here, Rogue's down to 9 shells. He's managing his reload again. So he's going to get one full clip of six, and then uh, a clip of three rounds. And there's still a hell of a lot of hit points to take off on the other team. If we take a look at the old less spotted hit points left. Uh, <laughs> significant trouble. Maybe five. What? That doesn't make any sense. All right. So Rogue is on 1,506 damage, obviously racking up the win eight in this Tier 9 game. Got a T29 and a Tiger 2 holding up the middle. Uh, our FCM appears to be camping out at the back. He is moving a little bit, but he's camping out at the back. The CDC is getting all of our spots at this point. And uh, the CDC is having a pretty good game. going to the back of the map to try to regroup and get into a spotting position, perhaps regroup with his other tankers, and what do you know? It's all French tanks left on this side. Quite a tribute to French Week on World of Tanks. T-29 is spotted. CDC, the <laughs> AMX-12T, and the FCM are all thinly skinned tanks. Uh, the enemy with a Type 4 Heavy Tiger 2 and T-29 has some of the most formidable armor in the game. French guns. Uh, handling is not great. Um, the, the the penetration is usually quite good. But the Alpha is generally smaller than tanks of its tier. And I thought that was going to be a good one. But it just dips a little bit and hits dirt. T-29 down to one hit point. Tiger 2 on just a threat of his health. And Rogue moves up. Gets his reload on and is down to three rounds of APCR. Uh, his role at this point is really a, as a distraction. Type 4 Heavy pulls into view. Up on top of the hill. Making a move on the FCM. Tiger 2 still out and about there somewhere on a on just a few hit points. Rogue being smart and trying to get flanking or rear shots on the enemy. And the Tiger 2 just slips away, but he is spotted, giving the AMX a bit of an advantage, I would hope, in the uh, vision war. CDC takes a hit from the Tiger 2. And Rogue moves in to try to help. Type 4 Heavy really going after the FCM. FCM doesn't appear to be moving too quickly in his defense. And just as... Oh, down to two shells. Used one of his last remaining shells to shoot a dead tank. Alright, at this point there's a lot of discussion about cap, no cap. You know, can, is there anywhere on that tank you could penetrate? Only having two rounds left. Point to save those for a rainy day. And the FCM is removed from the game by the Type 4 Heavy. Now, the CDC and the FCM have actually done a really good job of reducing that Type 4 Heavy's hit points. Ah, emergency stop. You can see he's quite a good player. Needed the emergency stop and used features on the map to come to a dead halt. Alright. Heading back to the enemy cap. And I thought this was going to be a disaster. I thought he was going to kill himself going at it. I've certainly done things like that. Thinking it's just a bit of a slope and it's a bit steeper than you thought. 
and Rogue moves into the cap circle with some hard cover between him and the Type 4. Now we move over to the view of the CDC. He is working this ridge pretty well. Pops went into the Type 4 Heavy. The penetration on the CDC's gun is quite good. The Type 4 Heavy, seeing that he's being capped, turns to move his way towards the cap, which allows the CDC to get flanking and rear shots on the Type 4 Heavy. Just what we needed at this point. And the CDC is working down that Type 4 Heavy. The Type 4 Heavy, I don't know, got tired. Saw that maybe he was in a pretty poor position. The CDC's patient, which is fantastic, and he continues to work this ridge. Type 4 Heavy begins lumbering back again. 40 seconds left on the capture clock. CDC moving into a better position where he can get shots on the side of the Type 4 Heavy. Comes up to a high spot. must be spotted at this point unless the Type 4 Heavy has a down commander or some equipment failure. And that is the end of the game. A win come from behind for the Frenchies against the Giants of World of Tanks. And Rogue pounds out an ace badge in this one. 1,791 experience. That scrub lord still made it in there. Look at that. And the Frenchies took it away. That uh, CDC doing nearly 6k damage. But you're not going to make money firing premium. That's the lesson for today, but a hell of an effort. If you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. Thank you.